What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we're going to be doing episode 9, going for the top 200. So, I basically show how I get the top 100, and all the different steps that made it to where I could do that, and try to help you learn some stuff. This series of the installment, we are going to be focusing on getting the god spot, where that is in a lot of the circles, and the most important ways to do it, and being a little bit patient. Because it's especially on this map, it's not always about being able to get into the god spot and keeping it the whole time, and most importantly, Importantly, being able to go there and just kill people the whole time because if you have too many people near you you can end up having that taken away from you so sometimes you need to be a little sneaky in this circle this is the god spot the reason why is because where the circle moves to it is a really good way to go there from here you cannot have people come up behind you and it's just a really good rotation so right here we are just out in the open good to go knowing that the circle after this will shift back towards where we came from so we do want to just go here and make sure that we get off onto this little ridge and then as it shifts back we are going back to where we were which is behind this wall which gives us just the ultimate cover and then we just wait for the last guy to come we go ahead fake him out and get that kill a lot of this has to do with going getting those power positions and just knowing where they are one of the best power positions on this map is right here pretty much any of the buildings with buy stations like this work all the same honestly and just going up and down killing them getting all their stuff going back in this corner you are almost untouchable right here you have to severely screw up to die i mean i'm not even kidding any of the three places they can get you from are just unbelievably hard to be able to kill you from he could have just made me run out there and then just turned on me and killed me there uh it would have been your best bet but it's pretty hard to do that i mean especially coming back in i'm just at such an advantage and then if you did get caught out you can go in places like that little cubby hole right there you can just wait until they get close enough and go out kill them with your p90 or your m5 and right here like i said you're going to have so many free kills from the buy station just because most of the people coming here one have enough money to get something so you're going to stack up gold which will help you in the end zone and then two you are going to be able to go ahead and get kills on people with pistols and right here this is the final zone and this is the only building and this is the ultimate god spot one thing about this one though you don't always want this you have to be a very good player and very competent to do it because guess what it's the only buy station and it's also the only building so you can either do one of two things you can either run in cars or you can stay in this building but if you do you are going to be subject to dying pretty bad that's why in the series before this one uh that episode what we did was we played off of the center of zone we didn't play god spot till we played things near them and the reason for that is if you can't hold the god spot then I mean, it doesn't really work for you especially in solo you could have three guys run up on you if you are not competent enough to do that then you will have trouble and you never want to hold this building unless you have both a short range weapon that's good and also a long range weapon right here i opted for a hip fire version of the ar 97 this allows me to use it as both close range and long range which will just absolutely beam people and this way, if we have a lot of people come in, I can kill both of them without having to reload. If I do screw up and miss some shots, it's not as big of a deal, especially with a character like Emma, where I can heal myself back up. But right here, we are going to go ahead and rush this guy off to the side, noticing that two of the guys are in cars, and if we can just get this guy on our rotation over anyways, then we're good to go. We're getting shot by one of the other people, and this really sucks. Having two cars that are kind of following each other, like, it's really hard to dodge both sometimes so it's really rough luckily i was able to go over here get into this house which is the next natural progression of the god spot because you have height and you have some cover and we are able to go ahead and get it and we are just beaming people and they're both literally just playing for second place at this point with their cars like these guys are so terrible but everyone in cars are terrible they get lucky kills that's it like i mean it's just not a good way to play the game and i hate them
if you've watched this series, I literally said every episode, I hate cars. They're the worst. Like, especially in Solo. Like, it just, it's so pointless. But either way, we are going to move on. And right here, we do get this guy dropping on us, which we just love our hipfire MP5 over here. It will destroy every Emma on the planet. They cannot dance around and use movement to stay alive. It does not work. It just kills them instantly. I love it. We know from our UAV that there were some people in the tunnels we see him fighting. So we're going to just go try to clean that up. And the like possible locations for where the end zone is going to be is most likely literally across the map so we do need to hurry up and get these kills so we can try to get to our god spot the way i like to play it is i like to either go for an edge play style and then move into the zone or most of the time what i like to do is i love to just collect an insane amount of money and just collect a ton of kills and then die because i mean if you're running four people and you get three kills and you die that's fine I, especially if you have the money then you can just waltz into the end zone especially where it ends up ending this time and so that's exactly what we're trying to do we're just trying to come in here and we're going to just try to crash out get as many kills as we can before that happens and then we'll go into the final zone it's just a lot easier to get there by like falling into it especially if you have so much cash that it doesn't matter um then if you actually are just sitting there and go in from the edge because you get caught out a lot easier right there we do die to a guy with a shotgun um that's rough but like I said, this end zone has two really easy to get to buy stations, and as long as your starred loadout is a short range gun, you can almost always get a gun before somebody's going to come and get you. So that's exactly what we do, and we know that this guy's right here, we're just waiting for him, and he has no shot. He thinks that we're inside the building, but we were waiting for him the whole time, and now we can go ahead, take our time, get the second weapon we wanted, and get full ammo, which is exactly what we're able to do. I go ahead and buy full shields too. And we sit in this building. It's one of the best buildings in the game. There's one on the other side that doesn't have a buy station. That for the end zone is also one of the best buildings. And so basically until you know the exact final circle. It's either this building or the other. They're basically identical. Just one has a buy station. And the buy station one I love the most. Because you have just free targets. It's the same as we are announced earlier. Like where you're sitting there. You're going to have a lot of people come in with pistols. Everyone has a lot of cash. So that's always good. And. And it's just a really nice thing to do right here we do end up seeing that we are not in the right location so we do want to move and like i said there are really two good buildings and the other one is over here on the other side of this and right in front of us this is the other building that is the god spot depending on where the circle goes one of the two is always the best building and in this one this is where the circle will end after it refreshes and that is what makes it so deadly and the problem is a lot of people know that so you were going to have a lot of people coming in luckily the shotgun guy could not kill me this time and we are able to get him after respawns are already down so that is going to be great for us only five people left and this is the literal god spot and the best part is that they are going to have to come to me where everyone is on the map they have to drag through this area to be able to come get it it's gonna work out great luckily we did see there's a ton of footsteps we're gonna go isolate the guy on the end and then sandwich them in because if we stayed where we were we would have been sandwiched between the guy on the outside and the one we eventually killed on the inside so it was always a smart move to be able to go on the outside and follow him around that way he sandwiched and we were not sandwiched so when you're holding god spot it's not always the best thing to stay sometimes you have to temporarily give it up and reposition because if you're getting attacked from all angles it is not the place to be and whenever it moves out into this zone having that rock right there that everyone has to go past and you have ultimate cover is just such good positioning you cannot win a fight against somebody of equal skill when you're right there right there we go ahead and use our hip fire version of the ar-97 which i mean i have a 3x scope on it and that thing will beam you from distance the problem is it's just not too much distance it'll miss every bullet if you're actually like a pretty good distance away but i mean if you're this far away you hit almost every shot and so i love this as your short range weapon sometimes i'll run a long range weapon with this as the short range because when you're up close you can two shot in the head people with gold armor with the ar-97 hip fire it's that powerful so it is one of the best short range weapons and it works so good at distance that it just ends up being one of the best overall weapons if you can only ever buy one gun that is the gun i always choose the reason for that like i said you have a long and short range gun in one until you can get enough money to go get the guns you actually want 
And right here, we are just playing it cautious. We are in the god building again, and it's not always best to let everyone know, hey, I am occupying this building. So even though we could probably shoot these guys, do a little bit more than we're doing, and show a little more presence, I don't want to show presence. I want people to rush in here not knowing I'm here. Just like this guy right here, he has no clue. He just got blindsided. That's why we we're throwing grenades instead of shooting, because it doesn't show up. But at this point, there's only seven people left. If we can get a shot on there and get a kill might as well especially since we literally just shot i mean people who were close enough to know we're here no so at this point i mean we've already given the game away we have to go ahead and go for it but right here we see this guy coming up behind he actually did a really good job here at moving around trying to be able to trick me into coming out but thing is i'm more than happy to chase you i don't actually care especially when you're playing emma you can heal yourself so it's really not that big of a deal and we do go ahead and get that kill there he did a really good job trying to bait me out as far as he was concerned like he was doing something that would help him but as long as you make a decisive and aggressive decision it's not that big of a deal if you go out especially if you have a good hip fire weapon if you have to scope it's a little different but as long as you can run and gun you are good to go right here we are just going sit here and make sure we get all of our health back we got 20 kills so i'm not worried about the kill department and right here this guy is coming out and it's just so funny because he is gonna just run right into our trap the reason i actually went out to go get him is the simple fact that if we didn't we could get sandwiched between the guys that are in front of us and that guy going to the natural progression where the hill will go and that could cause us a lot of trouble later and so that's why we just decided you know what let's go ahead and nip this in the bud now and get him out of the game and then we have two guys left they fight each other and now there's only one and i'm just gonna make him come to me the zone is forcing him into me so i have no reason to move and we are now good to go he has no shot we go ahead and get all of his armor down and he's just running around so i figure you know what let's just go ahead rush in he does a really good juke there that almost got me but he had no shot of winning the fight at this point so i was just chasing no reason not to and now we are one game away from top 200 one thing i love is when people are in these towers i mean they think that they are safe up in there this is literally the most dangerous place in the world to be if you have sticky grenades you just throw them at the roof you don't even have to be under them to get the roof angle so that's one thing i love about sticky grenades and that's why i always use those to kill people in those towers instead of having to just throw it from underneath where it'll bounce down into it it literally just sticks to the roof it'll kill them we then use a jump up onto the awning, and then we go loot that guy. He came back down, I guess, to get his stuff, so we are going to end up chasing him, and this is way too much distance to be able to use this gun, but again, our hit fire build, you don't even have to scope. That's one reason that over time I found out that I like to use a 2x scope on this gun, because anywhere that you could scope with a 1x scope, you can just hit fire and get it for free. And then we are just playing these buildings, going ahead and getting everyone down, down to 8 people we already have as many kills as we need after you get 10 kills your uh, damage points that you can get in a game are automatically capped at 125 so we don't really have to worry about getting more kills so we are just going to slowly go into edge because we know where this zone's going to end the god spot for this zone is off in that field next to that mountain there's like a blue uh crate that you can get in and so what we want to do is we want to give ourselves priority to the edge over here so we can swoop in after the final shown uh, zone shifts over to where we really want to be so our best bet is to stay up top get all of this high ground where there's some cover and we can run around with our axe out and then literally just heal ourselves if we get targeted a little too hard and the reason that i'm not going in right now is because respawners are about to be disabled and there's a couple people fighting if they turn around and decide to beam me that is not good for me and there is nothing you can do about it but as you can see right here we are in the perfect spot to go to where the zone shifts to so that's why we stayed up here instead of going into the city where there's buildings and a lot of cover it seems like you're actually at a disadvantage with so little cover right there but you're not because you have the hills and all the rocks people come at you you're good to go you'll just kill them and they get close to you or you will just stay away from the action you don't have to worry about it and let every everyone else fight it out and then as soon as the zone shifts all the way to where you can get into your blue container that is the signal to go to it 
It is literally the strongest thing in this hill and the literal god spot of god spots for this hill. It's one of the only pieces of cover right here and these two guys were fighting so I decided to go out and we chose the right one who won the fight and it's an easy kill from here. We have ultimate height ground. He's just trying to hope that I run out of ammo but we have a 60 round magazine. Nothing you can do. So we do get the win and get to top 200. Please like, subscribe and have a great day.